everyone. I am about to do my page on guilt and uh, what's been coming up for me a lot is the concept of guilt hotspots. So I kind of want to create an abstract I'm thinking around that. Um, I have an image in my mind of circles, lots of circles and some red in there and some turquoise and maybe some yellow and um, maybe even some purple. I'm not sure. But those are the colors I have out. I'm in a new space, which is really cool. Um, I'm in my little office um, and I have myself all set up here. And so we'll see how that works. Um, hopefully uh, this is much better than being in the living room or rather the dining room and then not being able to film at certain times because there's people coming in and out as my daughter and her boyfriend sometimes come in and out um, so I don't want to be limited by that so that's why I created this so we'll see what happens with that I'm excited I spent all this time um, setting it up and trying to keep myself distracted from this storm that's coming um, uh, her name is Sandy and she is coming and I heard that she's really going to be <laughs> Um, quite strong so I want to get this done before the storm comes before I lose power all right so I'm gonna just get started and I'm gonna probably write some um, guilt hotspots for me around the page and I'm working in an altered book and I'm not gonna just it which means I need to be very um, careful about uh, not using too much water because the um, pages will warp um, I could use gesso, but I really want the effect of just painting on the page, and I want to see how that works for me. Um, I've only done one page, not even really a page, just half a page, not a spread, um, and that worked really well. It didn't warp, um, and I, I didn't use a lot of water for this one. So we'll see what happens with this one. I'm just going to get started and then time lapse the rest. Um, basically, I'm going to write some hot spots and I'm going to see where the page takes me. It's probably going to be abstract, as I said before. And I have some colors set out that are calling to me at this moment. And we'll see what happens. And I hope that you're able to also take your page and kind of express your some of the guilt that you've carried with you and be able to move through some of them um, through the page and through the journaling activities or the journaling exercises that I've um, put in the PDF. So I'm going to come back after I finish the page and talk a little bit. And I'll see you soon.
So I finished the page and I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm surprised by it. Uh, I didn't expect to use flowers at all in this. Um, it felt like a heavy um, topic for me and something that kind of felt like a burden I was carrying. But instead, I felt like I kind of transformed it in this page. And, you know, sometimes you go into a page and you're expressing an emotion and you're dealing with some heavy stuff and that's what comes out on the page. And sometimes you're dealing with that heavy stuff and it, get tra it gets transformed on the page. Um, that doesn't always happen for me, so I I'm really glad it did um, this time. It felt transformative for me to create this page. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a face, but um, I love faces, and so she kind of emerged uh, from out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, so it was a lot of fun having uh, creating this, and uh, some of the things I wrote was the guilt does not have to consume you. It's okay to forgive myself, and it's okay to let it go and to be free of it. Um, and I think there needs to be... Sometimes you have to give yourself permission to do that. You have to give yourself permission to let it go. Um, and give yourself permission to forgive yourself. And um, to really move on from those things that you're carrying uh, that are weighing you down. So thanks for being with me this uh, month. And I hope you get a lot out of it. And I hope you're able to do your own pages and work through some of your own guilt um, hotspots, as I call them. Okay, bye. Thank you.